What's going on YouTube? It's your boy, KamiTL, and welcome back to another player prop video with your boy. Drop a like down below because I already know you're gonna love it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Comment anything in the comment section to enter your name into the $50 giveaway I do every single week on this channel. First and foremost, PropsMadeEasy.com, only $20 a month. Even more advancements have been made as of late. Over the last week, we've pretty much added all the flip results for all players for NFL, college football, CS2, League of Legends, Dota, um, and we plan on adding that for almost everything that we have that data for. So we just continue to advance, continue to make Props Made Easy. Our goal is to make Props Made Easy the only site you need for your entire player prop journey. Okay, it's all you need. If you need to see results on a player, you've got it here. If you need to see data and player projection, you've got it here. Okay, you've got everything you could possibly need at Props Made Easy. So <clears throat> definitely super happy about the advancements we've made, man. It's really cool. Uh, everybody's really loving being able to flip it over and look at the past results. Now, let me reiterate this, though. Past results, last five, last 10, last 15, whatever, does not take place of the data. Data is going to be your number one thing you want to look at. Okay, you don't want to get stuck in this routine of only playing plays that have a good last five or a good last 10 because there's so many different situations and scenarios that could have happened in those last games that made him clear when in this game he may not. Another reminder is that sports books across the world, okay, every sports book that we take into consideration, which is every sports book in the world, they put so much resources and time into their lines okay not a single human being is going to be more accurate at predicting outcome than these sports books will okay regardless of how good you believe you are i had somebody comment on a video the other day and i'm just trying to make sure everybody is aware of reality i had somebody comment the other day saying oh you know data's cool and all that but you know sometimes you got to go with your gut this team's been doing this and this team's been doing that and this is what it's looking like blah 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 blah, blah. everything he, that person mentioned sports books are taking into consideration already every possible factor that you could imagine is already incorporated in the sports book lines every single one if a player's been getting more targets lately it's incorporated. If a player ate chicken for lunch, it's incorporated. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know. I don't know, actually. It may. But what I'm saying is, is every factor you could imagine is already taken in consideration. There's times where people will be like, oh, that doesn't seem right. Um, he got f more targets last game, so he's definitely going over this game. They know all of these things. They know. They know the matchup. They know the individual matchup. They know the opportunity, the game script, every single little factor, weather, every single little factor you could imagine is incorporated into these Vegas lines. That's why the most success that you can possibly have in this game is by incorporating sportsbook lines and comparing them to the fantasy books, which is why if you just take the top plays at Props Made Easy, your success rate will skyrocket. If you stay consistent and you're playing the top plays off props made easy, seeing that they're taking sportsbook data and taking advantage of that, on top of that, adding AI technology and projection data, on top of that to make it even more accurate, there is nothing in the industry. And I'm not saying this because I'm an um, owner of this thing. I'm saying it because there's nothing in the industry that takes as much data into consideration as this tool is. It's taking sportsbooks and it's adding technology AI technology and projection data there's nothing else doing that so the more that you overthink you're going to kill yourself you know what I mean the more you overthink you're gonna kill yourself just keep in the mind and understand that these sports books anything you could possibly think about that you think oh oh this guy's going over because of this sports books already know it so if sports books have the line less than the fantasy line then prize picks is over analyzing something and you can take advantage of that. So I just want to reiterate that y'all know I'm here to just m try to make y'all better, try to help y'all understand the reality of this game because there's a lot of different factors that people take too much credit into. You feel what I'm saying? For example, DeAndre Swift under 81.5 rushing plus receiving yards is at the top of the list right now at a minus 2.64. You know what that means? Out of all the players on the NFL slates this weekend, 
he has the biggest differential between where all the sportsbook lines are and where the prize picks line is. On top of that, he has a projection differential that's also under like the sportsbook differential. Yet, when you flip his card over, you will see that the last two games, he's had huge games. So somebody who doesn't have a ton of knowledge in this will come in and be like, oh, I can't do that. The last two games, he's really been killing it. Understand that this 165 and this 120, the last two games where Swift has been really, really amazing, Sportsbook are already taking that into consideration. His line has already been bumped up to 81.5. Okay? His line was bumped up to 81.5 because of all of the factors that they're already keeping in mind. Sportsbook li sportsbooks know that he's been hot lately. They know all of that. But they know even more into this matchup than yet you aren't aware of or paying attention to to signify the under being the better bet than the over. Now, if you just look at these two games right here, you'll bet over. But that's not what the data is telling you. So I just want to make sure, yes, we've added flip and we've added the ability to see the last performance and how they've been doing so far this year. But you don't want to only rely on that. Data comes first and then the results come next. OK, and now if you can find a top play, like look, look at this Kyler Murray play, for example, Kyler Murray under 219 passing yards, under 219.5 passing yards at a minus 2.47, right? Sportsbook line is 217.03 when you average every sportsbook in this industry together. They're at 217.03, which is a minus 2.47 differential than where that line is on prize picks. Player projection is at 212.6. It is also on the same side of Vegas. Remember, every play that shows at the top of the list here is going to have projection data and Vegas data on the same side of the line, either both under or both over. On top of that, if you flip his card over, you'll see in four of the five games this year, he has, in fact, gone under. So in that situation, yes, that's awesome, and that's a huge, that's a plus, right? But if the data is telling you under, like, let's look at Brock Purdy. Yep, good example. Brock Purdy, under 269.5 passing plus rushing yards is the best data play. A minus 2.1 sportsbook differential. Sportsbook lines on average are at 267.4 on him. Player projection is at 264.6, a minus 4.9. Both data points are signaling under. That is the most important part of a play, is knowing what the data is telling you. Now, a regular rookie player who doesn't know much about player props would flip Brock Purdy over, see this red, and immediately think there's no way he can play it. But you have to understand, so four of the last five games, he's gone over this line, the line of 269.5, okay? Sportsbooks already have all of this into consideration. They understand that he's gone over and for the last five. But yet the data still signals under. So you have to understand that every factor that you can possibly imagine is already incorporated. One of the biggest mistakes people make in this industry is thinking they are, out, they are smarter than that, thinking they can outsmart all of this. We're not just taking one sportsbook. We're taking 100 we're taking every sports book known to mankind into consideration. So we're not only using one company, one sports book's uh, data and information. We're taking all of them. And trust me when I tell you, regardless if I would love to say that I'm smarter than all of them, I know for a fact we're not. You could study all day and not take in every single factor that these sports books are taking in in into mind. Take advantage of that. It's that simple. Anyway, let's get straight into it. Let's really focus on what we got going on here. Let's go with today's games. And again, to reiterate, you can type in the date in the search, and it'll only show you that day's games, okay, for anybody who's wondering if they could do that. All right. Um, Brock Purdy under 269.5 is going to be your top bet for Thursday night football tonight at a minus 2.1 sportsbook differential. We just talked about him. His data is signaling the under, not only projection differential with the AI technology and the, uh, all the other data involved, but the projection data is on the under at minus 4.9, and the sportsbook difference is on the under at minus 2.1. Yes, he's gone over this line in four of the last five, but that really doesn't matter a ton to me, to be honest with you. Brandon Ayuk, under 66.5 receiving yards at a minus 1.53. Sportsbooks lines are at 64.9 on him. Player projections, 65.4. So both are on the under on his 66.5. If you flip his card over, 
you will see that predominantly he's on the under. He's had a huge game last game, but you want to play the under on IU tonight. That's what the data is telling you at least. Now, obviously, data can be wrong too. It's not You're never going to be 100%, but if you follow the data majority of the time, you will see your hit rate raise over the long term. That is the key. You feel what I'm saying? Kenneth Walker III, under 22.5 receiving yards at a minus 1.47. 21.03 sportsbook line, 21.2 projection, so almost identical on these two, both on the under. If you flip Kenneth Walker over, you will see that he's gone over in two of the three games he's played this year. Um, but that doesn't really matter. Under on Kenneth Walker the third. Geno Smith, under 15.5 rushing yards at a minus 1.11 sportsbook differential. Sportsbook lines are at 14.3. Projections at 14, so both data points are on the under on Geno. Uh, he has gone over in three of the five games this year, but this is a tough matchup against San Francisco. So, again, situation is different. These matchups were probably better for quarterbacks to run in than this one against San Francisco is right now. All right? Brock Purdy over 20 passing completions at a 0 0.33. We're getting to really tight spots right now. 20.3 sportsbook differential player projection of 20.4. If you flip it over, you will see that he has gone over in only two of the last five games. Um, but data signaling over, even though it is tight. Okay. Um, that's it for that. Let's look at all sports books for tonight's game. Geno Smith under 258.5 passing yards on hot streak is a minus 6.08. Sportsbook lines are at 252.4. Player projection of 251, a minus 6.7. If you flip his card over, you will see he's gone over in four of the last five. But that doesn't say the whole thing. This is a prime example of what I mean. Yes, he's had a great. Last four games, but this matchup's against San Francisco, okay? So it's a little bit different. There's a lot of factors that go into these last players' performances and why maybe they would have done that, why they would have done maybe that good as opposed to how they may do in this matchup. You have to take every matchup individually and understand the exact situation they're in. Debo Samuel Sr., under 60.5 receiving yards on hot streak at a minus 4.47. Flip his card over, you will see he has, in fact, gone under in four of the last five. Kenneth Walker the third under 66.5 rushing yards at a minus 3.76. Flip his card over. He's gone over in two of the last three, but under is going to be your play. DK Metcalf under 68.5 receiving yards at a minus 3.44. He's had a solid season so far with three on the over this line, but again, matchup is a tough one here. Kenneth Walker the third over 59.5 rushing yards on sleeper at a 3.24. That would be a better play because there's better value over on Sleeper than it is other places. Um, and that's it. So, yeah, good luck on that tonight. Let's take this date off and look at college football real quick. For college football, we have Travis Hunter under 98.5 receiving yards at the top of the list. Minus 2.42 sportsbook differential, 96.02 sportsbook line. That's a minus 2.42 sportsbook differential with all the Vegas lines. Comparative to the prize picks line, if you flip it over, you'll see, yes, Travis Hunter has had some big games this year. Okay, out of their five games, he's had some big games, but the data is signaling under. Henry Parrish Jr., over 74.5 rushing yards at a 2.4. You flip him over, you will see, in fact, he has gone over in four of the last five. So not only are the sports book dead, now it's definitely a plus to see. It's like, oh, okay, so not only is the data on the over, but he's gone over in four of the last five. It definitely makes him a great play. Signal seeing, but you have to look at data first. Data is your number one point. Okay, that's the first thing you're taking in consideration, and that's the main thing you're taking in consideration. Now, if the last results check that another box off and agree with it, then great. That's icing on the cake. If not, then data needs to be your number one focus. Aaron Anderson, under 63.5 receiving yards at a minus 2.38, 61.12 sportsbook line. If you look at Aaron Anderson, you will see he's gone over in four of the last five. Cam Scadabo under 77.5 rushing yards at a minus 2.15. You flip his card over, you will see that he has gone under in three of the first five games. Ethan under 159.5 passing yards is a minus two sportsbook differential. We like the under there. Flip him over, you'll see he's gone over in three of the last five, but this is another under spot here. Dylan Gabriel, under 258.5 passing yards at a minus two. You flip his card over, he's gone under in only two of the last five. But that's okay because the data is signaling under, and that matchup is against, um, I'm, I'm blanking right now. He's played, yeah, against Ohio State. Luke Latchy, over 
29.5 receiving yards at a 1.83. You let flip his card over, you'll see he's gone over in two of the four games. Jaden Blue, over 62.5 rushing yards at a 1.77. Great spot for him to go over again. He has, in fact, only gone over in one of the last four games, but this is another spot for him to do so. Drew Aller, over 225.5 passing plus rushing at a 1.71. Flip his card over. He's gone over in three of the first five. Brayson Nesbitt, under 35.5 receiving yards at a minus 1.55. He's gone under in the last two games, but before that, he went over in the first three. Sam Leavitt, under 195.5 passing plus rushing at a minus 1.43. Flip the card over, you'll see in four of the last five, he's gone over. But remember, data is your number one thing you want to look at. Will Howard, under 267.5 passing plus rushing at a minus 1.43. He's gone under in three of the first five. Josh Williams, over 35.5 rushing yards at a 1.42. He's gone over in one of the games so far this year, but he's due for another one in this one. But that's about it. All right, let's move on. Anything for NBA preseason yet? No, but if there's any NBA preseason, that will be popping in. All right, Tanner Bibby's at the top of the list for MLB. Uh, we're not adding the flip side of MLB. We're at the end of the season. There's really no point in that at this point. But next year, MLB will have the flip as well. Tanner Bibby, over 3.5 hits allowed, is 52.7% chance to hit. That's, a, that's as close as we're getting so far with this. All right, that's as close as we're getting so far with MLB. MLB lines have been incredibly tight. So take advantage of the Tanner Bibby. Over 3.5 hits allowed at a minus 150 odds over on Bovada. Player projection of 6.27. So they're expecting him to get some hit, take some hits. All right. If you look at the Goblins, there's really nothing available on MLB right now, to be honest with you. Looking at NHL, the top option is Adrian Kempe. Kemp under 0 0.5 assists at a 51.62 chance to hit. Odds consensus odds are at minus 130.5 on his under. Highest odds gets as high as minus 136 on Pinnacle and a projection of 0 0.35. So data's on the under there for, for him. MLB first inning, nothing too crazy. Tight lines. Uh, MLB fantasy, Juan Soto over 7.5 batting scores is 0 0.5. Steven Kwan under 6.5 batting fantasy score at minus 0 0.5. WNBA, Brianna Stewart, over 30.5 points plus rebounds is a great option at a 55% chance to hit at minus 150 consensus odds. So Brianna Stewart over is a fantastic spot there. Nothing for PGA. MMA, we have Themba Garimbo, under 38.5 significant strikes at a minus 2.6. Daniel Rodriguez, over 70.5 at a 2. And Grant Dawson, under 50.5 at a minus 2. Those will be your best bets for MMA. For tennis, Novak under six aces is only a minus 0 0.25, though, so very tight lines. For soccer, we got some good ones. Pantelis over 36.5 passing attempts at a three sportsbook differential on the over. Alessandro over 73.5 uh, passing attempts at a two. Philippe under 87.5 passing attempts at a minus two. Bakayo Saka under 36.5 at a minus one, but these will be your top bets right here at the top of the list. Nothing for Call of Duty. Taking a look at League of Legends. Now, one thing we're working on right now with the team is adding the combo results. So adding each player's results and adding them together to give you the first two map kills combo results for these two, which would be awesome. So we're working on that right now to get that up. But right now, the combos won't show anything on the flip. But the single players will. So if you see, if you go down to Elk, under his 11.5, you'll see that, okay? You'll be able to look at Elk's results, all right? But only for single players right now. The combos aren't available. But nonetheless, we got some big value on League of Legends. Humanoid plus Noah over 13.5 first two map kills combo at a three. Great spot for the over there. Humanoid plus Oscarin in, in Resort over 14 first two map kills combo at a 2.75. Elk plus Knight under 23.5 first two map kills at a minus 1.75. Appa plus Yeon. Under 21.5 at a minus 1.25. So some great, great options uh, for League of Legends. Some big differentials. Dota 2 is back. Copy plus Gunner plus Yuma. Um, <coughs> over 33 first two map kills combo at a 2.5 sportsbook differential on the over. Looking at Copy over 12.5 first two map kills at a one sportsbook differential. If you flip him over, you'll see in the last five he has, in fact, gone over um, this line. If we look, if we expand it and look at the last ten, he's gone over in majority. He's only gone under in three of them. 
So good spot for copy. The data and the results are, are matching. Gunner over 8.5 first two map kills at a 0 0.5. If you flip him over, go to his last 20, you will see that it's about even on the red and green here. Um, but that's about it there. Let's move on. All right, for CS2 at the top of the list, we have Exercise, under 30.5 first map kills. You will see he's gone over in four of the last five. You expand that to 10. He's gone over in probably about 80% or so of that. Last 20. You'll see a good bit of green mixed in here, though. Probably about 50%. Uh, Maka, under 13.5 first two map headshots at a minus 0 0.83. You flip him over. Look at the last 20. Again, a lot of red in there. But data is your number one point, as always. Last but not least, Valorant. Nothing is available for Valorant. So good luck tonight on Thursday Night Football, ladies and gentlemen. If you haven't joined Props Made Easy yet, not only do you have every data point that you could possibly imagine involved in Props Made Easy, but you also have the results on the flip sides of these cards as well. <coughs> that update has been awesome. It's great to be able to just, with a click of a button, see their results for their last 20. Um, it, Yeah, it's been great. Um, not a lot of places have those CS2 results like that either, so it's cool to just dif differentiate and, you know, put our people ahead of the game, plain and simple. And it's only $20 a month for Props Made Easy. Not only does it have more data than other places, but it's che way cheaper. It's like almost half the price, if not more than half the price. So join up PropsMadeEasy.com, only $20 a month. We keep advancing. Who knows what will come next? Thank you all for joining me as always, man. Y'all have a great day, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.